In this product update, I wanted to take you through the progress being made on turning in Fusion 360 Cam. For this video, I will be using a model that I have pre-created. So to get started, we first create a setup. We'll change the operation type to turning. And you'll see that this automatically changes the stock to a cylinder. What we want to do next is adjust the stock size to give us something to hold on to while machining the part. In order to do this, we want to click on the stock tab and change the model position to offset from front. Next, we'll increase the length of our part and you'll see that it adds extra material to the back of the stock so that we have something to hold on to. The rest of these settings should be just fine for us, so we'll go ahead and click OK, OK to complete our setup. Now that we have created a setup, we're ready to create our first operation, which will be a face operation. The first thing we need to do is add a tool for our operation. There's a list of predefined tools that you can find on the left-hand side of the tool library called sample turning tools. And I have a couple here that are pre-created. I'll select this one. And since we have a proper setup, the default settings should work just fine for this operation. However, one thing that we have added can be seen in the radii tab. You'll notice that there are cylinders that define the boundaries or clearances for our part. And all you need to do to adjust these is click on the cylinder you want, and then you can adjust by using the slider, by using the dialog box here, or by using this floating dialog box. So the default operations will work just fine for us, so I went ahead and clicked OK to complete the operation. We then want to create a profile operation using the same tool as the last operation. So we'll click Turning Profile. And again, the default settings work just fine for us here. So we just need to click OK to complete the operation. There you'll see the toolpath generated as well as the profile of the toolpath once the machining is done. Next, we want to add a grooving operation by selecting Turning Groove. This allows us to machine finer details that the profile couldn't reach. We select a grooving tool, then, then we want to turn on Confinement in the Geometry tab, and this will allow us to define a boundary for our grooving operation and it, it limits the operation to between those two edges that we select. We also want to add rest machining so that we don't machine stock that has already been removed from other operations. After we do this, we click OK to complete the groove operation. Finally, we will add a part operation to cut our part from the excess material. Like the face operation, Fusion automatically knows where to do the part. With these four operations, we can fully machine our part. Finally, we can view the simulation So if we click play, we'll see our operations being completed. And we can turn on the stock to see how much, or to see what our finished part will look like. If we're happy with the result, we can then output our G code by using the post process command. We'll change the filter to turning and create a default uh, turning post. We'll save it. And then you can see your G-code output right in front of you. 
With that, we hope you're excited for the new turning capabilities in Fusion 360. And on behalf of the development team, I thank you for being part of the CAM design process.